So today I just want to quickly show you where my studio is actually located and yeah, just give you a quick studio tour. Out here there is a carpentry and over here there's a mechanic, car mechanic. So let's just go inside now. And let's use the elevator. So let's go downstairs. So this is the skate park below the whole carpentry and the, the car mechanic and now we can actually go through this hole right here into my studio and here we are in my studio. So that's one way how to get in here. There's also another way without the elevator um, and then you can use the stairs but I just wanted to show you because I think this is really cool uh, to, to get go through here, through the skate park. Now out here, I have a little fridge and over here is my drum kit. So when I need that inside of the studio, I will just bring it inside because there's not enough space to always leave it inside. So now let's close the door. So basically I would say my studio is split into three different parts. Over there we have the main part. This is just where I produce everything. This is where I mix my songs and also where I edit my videos, my tutorials and everything. And yeah, so I think 90% of the time I spend over there. Now over there we have the second part, which is just the DJ booth. So there I have CDJs and the mixer and my record player. I have a second record player, but it's not hooked up at the moment because there's not enough space to put it on here. Now over here we have the speakers that are hooked up to this system right here. And these speakers, I have them actually already since, I don't know, 10 years or more. They were my first speakers that I ever bought to make music. And yeah, I used them to produce music at the beginning. After a while I upgraded them and now I have different speakers to make music, but I started out with them and I still really like them and they still serve their purpose in the studio. So it's really nice to have them. And up here we have the little singing bowl right here. Sometimes I use that in my beats or something. Also down here we have some percussion stuff. So just shakers and cowbells. And over here we have some more gear. Most of that is just camera gear and also microphone gear. So any dead cats, any wind protections, anything like that, everything is stored down there. Now the third part is over here. And this is just basically the kitchen and the chill out corner. And over here is actually the most important item and um, tool in the whole studio. It's this coffee machine right here. The coffee is done. I love coffee. So yeah, that's the chill out area right here. And um, I use it to nap, for example, when I'm tired. So now I just want to show you a little bit the gear that I'm using and all the little things and also just how everything is set up. So this right here is the MacBook Pro 13 inch from 2019. And this is just the heart of the studio basically. That's where everything runs on. This is where I run Ableton on, but also where I run Premiere Pro on to cut my videos and edit everything. Over here is the Fireface 802 from RME. It's the interface that I'm using and 
I really like this interface. It's, um, yeah, it's a really power horse and I really like the preamps on this interface. They're actually really nice, the, the microphone preamps and it has enough like inputs and outputs for me to use. The first interface that I actually ever had was the Tuscom over here. Let me just show you that. It's this interface right here. This was actually my first interface that I bought when I was maybe like 16. So I bought this thing to hook up a microphone to it and um, I actually received the Cubase light version with this. So it's still sitting here in my shelf as a good token of remembrance. I don't know if this is a word I can say, but whatever. Computer interface and then of course the speakers. Uh, the speaker that I'm using the most is the Atom A7X. It's the speaker right here on the right. And these two speakers, they are actually also hooked up to a subwoofer down here. So all the bass goes through there. And I actually really like this system, especially in this room right here. I think it sounds really nice. And it's also nice to have a second pair of these Yamaha speakers, but I almost never use them. But sometimes it's good if you do a mix down and you can just switch in between them to check um, if it actually also sounds good on another pair of speakers. So I can do that over here with the big knob. Here you can change the, the different speakers. And I actually also really like this thing. It's a passive uh, controller basically, so it doesn't require any battery or any power. And I just really love this knob, like the volume knob. So then over here, I have the A300 Pro by Roland. It's just this MIDI keyboard right here that I'm using a lot. I think the size of it is perfect for my, for my desk. And then over here, I have the Peak, Novation Peak. Uh, I have this synthesizer now since about one year, I think, and I really love it. I use it almost in all of my productions and you can do so many different things with it. Like you can do bass lines, you can do pads, you can do arpeggios, you can do lead sounds. Like the different options you have with it, they're really endless for me at least. Uh, I feel like I can really still dive into it and really discover new ways of, of patching things and uh, yeah, I, I, I love the synthesizer. And then over here I have the Kawai E piano. It's just a normal piano basically. And this one is also hooked up via MIDI to the interface. So when I'm playing something over there, I can also record that directly into the computer. Now let me also just quickly show you the microphones that I'm using at the moment and how I use them. So over here we have the Rode M5 stereo pair. Let's just take them off for a second. I really like to have that set up in this ORTF setup. And with that, you can just record basically anything if you're in front of it. And it just has a really nice stereo field when you record with this setup. Sometimes I record percussion in front of it or shakers if I want them to be in stereo. Also for field recordings, I think this setup is really nice for outside if you want to capture some ambiences. And here I have my headphones that I'm using. These are the Biodynamic DT1990 Pro. These I'm using a lot for mix downs. So when I'm already done with producing the song, I like to switch to these headphones. These are my DJ headphones. These are the HD25 by Sennheiser. And I like to use them also a lot for production actually, because I know them quite well. Now over here, I have a Shure SM57. It's a dynamic microphone and yeah, I use that a lot for percussion. Now over here, we have the Rode NTG5 shotgun microphone. It is on top of my setup, basically. It's a really good pointed microphone. So when I'm sitting here in this chair, I can just talk right here and it actually captures really nice audio. And I always have it plugged into the Mix Pre 6 here by Sound Devices. So that's just like externally always recording, even when I don't have the computer turned on. So everything just gets stored on a SD card. Now the next microphone that I want to show you is the Rode NT1. It's the condenser microphone right here. It's a 
vocal mic. And the last microphone that I want to show you is the SR3D binaural microphone <laughs> with these ears right here. I already made a video about this one, um, a full review. So yeah, these are probably the most important microphones that I'm using at the moment. And now you get a little bit uh, idea of them and how I use them. Now, one important thing that I didn't mention until now is actually this little owl right there. Can you see it? It's over there, this owl. And this owl is actually standing in my studio since my fir very first studio that I had like five years ago. And after that, I moved several times into other studios. And it's actually the owl of a friend. And he just left it in the studio and he said, yeah, you can keep it. It's now a part of the studio. So um, yeah, I really like this owl. And she's always just looking there and um, taking care of me. It's been a real pleasure to show you around. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. So you will receive further videos, tutorials and tips and tricks about music production. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.